what's going on everybody, and welcome to Cybercord Gaming. Now in our last episode, we beat our first boss, and we got our first talisman. Shiny. Now on the front, I believe it's a frog. I think it's a frog. Or... Yeah, you'll get several different talismans with animals on them. The final one's going to be a Tasmanian tiger. Now, as you know, we beat everything in Bly Bly Station, so in our last episode I showed you where to go, and it showed this cutscene of another Tasmanian tiger. Also, in our last episode, since it was red opals and red thunder eggs, it represents fire, so we got the flamerang. I really didn't feel good about the review on the boomerang, so I'm going to talk a little bit about it more. These boomerangs are pretty good. I like it that it's also the boomerang on the front cover of the game. They do a slight more damage than your original boomerangs. And also, they work pretty good in night levels. I like how it kind of lights up the area and their boomerangs on fire. Except there's one thing I don't like about it is when you hit the crates it kind of takes a little forever because the crates kind of have to burn and then explode. I'd rather just the crates bust open. Uh, anyway, now there are three levels now. We will be doing Snow Wars last evil incarnation. Outback Safari and Bridge on the River Tide. I actually realize Bridge on the River Tide is not really... Never mind. You have done well, my friend. The information you supplied is invaluable. So someone thinks they can stop me obtaining all the talismans! Of course he will not succeed! I want this meddling mammal stopped at any cost! Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Those talismans are as good as mine. Begin phase two! <laughs> anyway, what I was about to say is this level is not really a swamp level. It's more like two up in nighttime. And you get harder bad guys in here, so I really do enjoy this. There's level. nothing quite like a moonlit billabong. Except maybe a moonlit billabong full of giant roaches, spiders, and bats. Now, as you see, the opals have turned blue, and the thunder eggs will also turn blue. And it will represent ice. So the next elemental ring we get after being the second boss will be an ice ring. Now before you go anywhere, if you turn behind here, there will be a crate. I just one there was three behind here. Oh well. G'day, Ty. Welcome to the Billabong. This is the home of me old mate, Dennis the Cheapskate. Uh, well, <laughs> sorry, I mean, Green Tree Frog. Oh dear. He has got the biggest thundering collection this side of the Black Stump. I've tried to convince him to give some up, but he's too precious with them. I'm sure if you did some odd jobs for him, he'd be happy to throw some your way, if you know what I mean. Leave it to me, Mori. Cheapskate. <laughs> now, these are our new bad guys. They use a club and they also shoot blow darts at you. There's two ways you can beat them. You use the flamerang to burn their stick and then hit them again. They take two hits. Other boomerangs you cannot do. Also, around this corner right here, you can miss it. There's your first golden card. Also, a new way to beat these bad guys, you could just bite them twice. Whoa! Actually, if you look to the right of me, there's a box. With those pictures I said I wasn't going to collect. Huh. Ah, crud. Come back here. Die. I'm 
actually okay with biting those guys. They're not like the frills where they jump back if you bite them, and then you gotta bite them again. It's it's annoying trying to use the bite move on, okay, on the frills. You'll also be introduced to spiders. I feel like the golden cogs in this level are hid in just specific corners that can escape your sight, but there are some that are just above there. Die. 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 The blue, and you can also see that the they give a little snowflake thing when you collect them. Look. Oh, wait. Oh, and go in here and you will get the father, Billy. Come up on this little hill thing and you'll be able to get this golden cog right here. Glide! Now before going anywhere, backtrack to the beginning. And start swimming. There is stuff in the water, that's the only thing I don't like about these levels. Is there's stuff in the water and there's opals that you can miss. And it is not fun backtracking and getting all of those. And I don't like it when they're in singles like this. There. See, there's one. I could have missed that. But also, oh yeah, there's two in the waterfall. Glad I saw that. Uh, so go into this cave back here and you will get another ability. And some opals. Oh, it's the sun, too. should be done with a little of this area. Who would have thought I killed you guys? Who spawn it? Checkpoint. Golden Cog. Oh. Ah. Yeah, this is the thing. When you hit a crate with your flame meringue, it just slowly burns and then explodes. I'd rather it just explode. All for all, I like the elemental rings. I feel like they're useful. Except for the last two, I really don't see the use of them. Maybe, le maybe less for the zappy rank, because really, you only get to use it once. Die. I swear, it's these lizards, they, their tails fall off. Kind of like that Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. You now the lizard. When you beat the lizard thing, their tails would fall off. Alright, come around the corner and you can rescue the mother bird. Ah. Awesome. Jump right down here. That is easy to miss. I one time searched the entire level looking for them. And also this level introduces cockroaches, which I find gross that we have to bite. Disgusting. Oh well.
Anyway, here's Dennis the Cheapskate. I'm just gonna call him that. I'm not gonna call him the Green Tree Frog. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Hey, relax, mate. I'm Ty. And you must be Dennis the Cheapskate. Oh, I mean Green Tree Frog. Ty? Oh, Molly's <laughs> friend. I'm so glad to see you. The local bully Neddy has extinguished all the lights that show my way home. And now I don't know where to go. It's not that I'm scared of the dark or anything, but it, uh... It's a frog. You're a frog. Uh, oh, uh, uh, yes, uh, could you kindly escort me home? No worries. Yeah, you're big boss. Just hit these little lantern things, whatever they are. Then he'll light the light. And he'll slowly follow. In the meantime, I'm just gonna collect all this. You know what? I'll deal with you guys later. You also gotta make sure he's following, because if he's not, then this is just a waste of time. Die. That's gonna explode. First time I played this game, I picked this level to choose out of all three levels, and it was it was nice because once I got the flame ring, it really did feel like the flame rings were lighting my way home or around the level. All right, where is he? Okay, there he is. Sweet home, I made it thanks to you. I'm not sure if you knew this, but I have a magnificent collection of thunder eggs. I insist that you have one. You know, I bet if he gave us all his thunder eggs, we'd be done with this game. Oh dear, this is just a thought. Good. My hot water system has given up the ghost. The pilot flames must have gone out. Could you find a way to fire up the gas again? I'm allergic to gas. Otherwise, I'd do it, you know. Yeah, okay, no worries. Even Ty doesn't believe your excuse. <laughs> and you'll find the first one right here. Just light it up real quick. Okay, sometimes I have a little hard time lighting up, so I go into Ty's wheel and start hitting it. Okay, there are only eight of these. There's also a golden cog right here, so the way to get to that is walk up here. There's a little platform to jump to there. If you can do it right, instead of me walking all over the place. Here it is. Six golden cogs. We almost, we almost got all of them. Also, the hub world is right there, the entrance to the hub world. And the mushrooms. We'll do the time attack thing last. I don't know, should I go left or right? Anyway, before you do anything, you see this tree right here? Where is it? There's a golden cog down. Oh, no, I passed it. This tree over here. There's the golden clock. You gotta jump from the bridge to get to the golden clock. I like how they put this because. Oh no! I gotta go all the way back up there to get it. Shoot. Well, there's stuff we gotta do down here anyway. There's also stuff in the water. <sighs> I 
I need to look for crates. There's also still crocodiles. One of underneath these, one of these little bridges that we crossed, there is a golden cog in one of these. There, here we go. Shoot, oh, go back. There's a button around here for something. I need to remember where that button is. Oh, here it is. You press this button, it's going to move a ramp to help you get another golden cog. So be sure to press this when you find it. <laughs> and that glitch, there's a little glitch in my game. Whoa, holy crud. Where this cockroach is down here and he's just constantly under the water and he never dies. I know I missed a crate back here. Yeah, I missed one. here where we just got bit by that crocodile. There's actually a golden cog I was trying to get to before I remembered about the crate. Okay, the zoomerang actually does one good thing. It gets rid of these lousy crocodiles. Come on. Give me the flame ring. Die. You. Thank you. Die. Okay. This might take me a couple tries. Hopefully not. Oh no, it's gonna take me a couple tries. For some reason, this jump has always gave... It's always gave me grief. I don't know why. It looks like I can make it. Oh boy. 
Yes! Oh, thank God I finally got it. That took forever. And so many tries. Alright, now we can go somewhere. Now, be sure to check underneath the bridge. There are some crates. Whoa, what the? And there are bats in this game. They just come out of nowhere. Man, this song's gonna be stuck in my head. In this level, there is Rex, our swimming trainer from Shipwrecks, the level of Shipwrecks, so he will teach us the final move on swimming, which you kinda already know, but you have to do it to progress and get another Thunder Egg. Where are those crocodiles? I need to kill all these crocodiles. Probably the one time the zoomerang comes real handy. Oh, I hate these inverted controls. Come on, die. Also, right around this tree should be one of the abilities. Oh, it's the grandmother. Cool. Almost made it too. Also, here are those fire things we're supposed to get. Yeah, these bats kind of remind me. They kind of remind me of the bats, like from Legend of Zelda. Yes! Come on. There's a way you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to get on that platform I talked about when you hit the button. Oh my god, camera. That platform will also lead you to a golden cog, but I really don't like taking that platform, and if I miss these, I have to ride the platform all over again, so I'd rather just take it another way around. There's also another one. There we go. Alright, where's Rex? Yo, Rex. G'day, mate. I came here to give Dennis some diving lessons, but he chickened out. Well, who can blame him? <laughs> you know, Ty, it's high time you learned how to dive. All you have to do is run and press the jump button near the water's edge. Then press the bite button to do a dive. See if you can dive into that yellow crate. Don't be surprised if I have to do this again. Oh, are you for real? Seriously. Actually, if you continue to miss it, he'll move the crate in several different spots. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Seriously, like, what's going on here? Okay, there. Bonza, you're a natural, Ty. If you're up to the challenge, why don't you try the Super Tower High Dive? Here's the challenge, mate. Dive from the top of the super tower and pass through each of the rings on the way down. If you get them all, I'll give you a thunder egg. Oh, you beauty! You actually don't have to get them all. I've missed quite... I've missed like one, two, three, or five of them. Just don't miss a lot of them. But you can just get all of them on the way, but it doesn't really matter if you miss one or two. Get it, ball! 
That was a pearler of a dive. I tell you what, mate, you'd give the Pippi Beach nippers a run for their money. Here, you've earned this. Ripper! That should have been a bigger splash. Opals! Where? Here we go. <sighs> now this bridge splits into now we could, you know what? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go get that golden clock. That golden clock I missed earlier. Is this it? Oh, come on, again? It's faster to swim than it is to walk. What I like about some games is when they offer a swimming that is faster than walking, then it makes the water level. It doesn't make the water level so bad. I mean, if you played like Ocarina of Time, Water Temple, and you're wearing iron boots, you are slow, and it's just so. I do not like playing that level. I finally got the ninth one. I know where the last one is too. I mean, the one from Twilight Princess wasn't bad because the swimming was all right when you got the sword armor. But what I didn't like about that water temple in Twilight Princess was that puzzle with the bridge. I was, I'd always get confused between which one, which switch I was supposed to pull. Kind of got annoying. Now watch out. There's a huge the bridge breaks right here from some sh dive. And then be sure to hit this right here that way you can get to that one. But before you go there there's a little mini boss over here I think his name is you shouldn't be here Ty this Neddy. is where Neddy lives Neddy Yes, Neddy. He's the biggest, toughest bully this side of the black stump. Well, he doesn't sound so tough. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Ty. Now you've riled him. Should I fight him first or get stuff? You know what? I'll just fight him. Ho, ho, ho! Trespasser am orange rat, puny rat. No match for Neddy. Neddy clobber him good. Ooh. He's not that hard of a boss. It's a bit like... It's kind of like fighting bull's pen. Except you're supposed to dodge. And I am horrible at dodging. First you gotta use your flamerang and you burn his backside. And slowly some of the pieces of his armor starts to come off. Where is he? Seriously? Come on, hit me. The thing is I can dodge this one better. Whee! Then all his armor comes off and we just hit him. What? Orange rat beat Neddy! Oh, Neddy, I'm so ashamed. Here, yeah. Neddy gives shiny rock to new friend. All right. All right. I wish they put a mini boss in every part of this level. It would be fun. I actually kind of enjoy bosses, mini bosses like that. Not that easy though. Now around here, over here, we get one of those water heaters. I believe that's what they're called. 
Right underneath the bridge is a pillowy. And I gotta figure out some way how to get in there. Here we go. Where is he? That was our last pillowy. Okay. There's also crates somewhere here. I know there was crates. No crates? Oh, here they are. Done with that. Just in case, I should double track. So it's good to double track. All right, we're done with this area. How much are we done? No, not that. Mm, one more golden cog. About forty. We're almost done. feel like doing much talking about. I'm gonna try to talk through this. Now up here, remember that spot in Walk in the Park where you had to kill those lousy turkeys? Well, this is this location again where you gotta kill the turkey multiple times. Shoot, I jumped on it. Trying to see if I can make that jump. Yeah, that's the last golden cog over there. Anyway, in my past videos, I mentioned I would like, there was a trailer about Ty defeating Crash and Spyro and Sonic. Well, I actually looked it up. Crash Bandicoot, the species Bandicoot, is actually from Australia and New Guinea, so it would be possible. I'd love to see how some way they put Ty and Crash in one, one game and then they duke it out. You could actually do it since they're both from Australia. That would be kind of neat to see. Hmm. Please make this jump. No, 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 no. Okay. Before going to kill the turkeys, I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna collect everything else. He's got all the opals. Wait a minute. That's not good. I'm missing. I'm missing a crate. Oh, here we go. Yes. Alright, we can get that thunder egg. Is there thunder egg over there? Yeah, it is. Hope I can kill them both at the same time. Save me some time. Yes! That's awesome, I've never done that. That is so cool. Normally if you bite one, the thunder egg will just keep transferring back and forth and back and forth. I think you have to kill them a certain amount of... No, I think it's like three times and then finally they'll give you the thunder egg. Oh, crud. About to miss my ride. But if you kill them both at the same time, then you don't have to do it anymore. Shoot, where's that platform? Where is it? You know what? I'm just gonna go back over here and wait. Just might as well. Where is it? Alright, what do I got left? Uh, I still got two more of those water heaters to do, and I know where they are. Time it. 
attack, heat Dennis home. Okay, I'm almost done. Time to exchange our opals. Alright, the last two water heaters are right here where these flying platform things are. Water heaters are done. We only have time attack and heat Dennis' is home, so that's all we got left to do. I'm gonna take this swimming, it's much faster. something that I insist you have. It's from my magnificent collection of thunder eggs. Grasses! What? I do not know what he just said. Alright, let's go do the race. Let you go! Come attack time. Even the cockroaches here like a flutter at the track. It's so simple, even you can have a go. Just run to the finish, making sure you go through each checkpoint. Except there's one part that I have messed up in the past a lot. Is that one part where you have to jump across the bridge. Because the bridge is broken. Whoa, 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 shoot, shoot. is home. This is actually quite long. Oh, no, no, no! Shoot. I messed it up. I thought I did it good. Truth! A train moves faster than that and hit those checkpoints. Right, here I go again. Back for another go, are we? Remember to hit what those checks with his voice. That that was weird. Oh. I can win this pretty easy. I just gotta get over that bridge. I seem to jump either too early or too late. And sometimes I've missed this easy thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes! I got it. Alright, now it's all down here from here. Where's the next one? Stuff for a pit stop. Not bad at all. You've made it through in record time. Here's your thunder egg. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> all right. Now where's the mushrooms? All right. We completed all of Bridge on the River Tide. Three hundred opals, eight water, whatever. The time attack. Ten golden cogs. Okay, so we're done here. Time to go to the world. Okay. So the next episode we should do, we will probably be doing Outback Safari. I will do this last, as I mentioned. Not like snow levels, but what's bad about that level is not only is it a snow level, but there is also a swimming part. Ugh, no. I am dreading that level so bad. Alright, but we collected another 10 golden cogs, so we should be able to get a new boomerang in Julius Lab. A new techno rat. I think this one's gonna be the. Let's see. It's Haven't I told you already? Find 15 golden cogs and bring them to my lab in Rainbow Cliffs. My bad. Apparently we need five more. So it's the next level. Oh well. Well, the next time we'll be playing on Outback Safari. So like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a nice day.